Okay guys, welcome back to a new game series. Today we're going to be starting a new game called Asteroids. Uh, we haven't finished our Space Hopper game, but we are putting that game to the side for a bit. We are going to carry on working on it, maybe once a week, maybe maybe once every two weeks. We'll uh, release an episode on that. Uh, but we're going to start focusing on a new game called Asteroids. Like I showed you, I'll give you a quick, uh, quick little video to see how it works. Basically you have a little you have like your little spaceship kind of I don't know what it's called that you control and you shoot out where's it gone? Okay, I don't know where it's gone, but anyway you have you control this little guy here. All you have to do is control her, move around the, the screen and destroy some of the asteroids and we'll also avoid them. So that's what we, what's the new game that we're gonna be working on. Uh, starting today. Uh, but first let's get straight into it by creating a new project. So let's go and create, I think it's a new 2D project, so we'll do that. Uh, all templates, 2D, and then we'll name this Asteroids. So let's see, um, let's call this Asteroids. Like that, uh, location, change the location into our normal location so where's the game development unity game rules and then I have created a, um, a git uh, repository so that I will put the link in the description in case you want to uh, download like where download where we are uh, in the or in the development series all the the complete pro project at the end so let's go ahead and select that folder and pop that in there or we'll create that while that uh, builds that you'll see that all the files have now been added to our project so we will go and commit that before we start uh, changing anything so today I don't really have a, a plan for this episode yet but we, all we're going to do is we are going to uh, set up the scene by adding in or changing the background of the camera so we're going to change it from that blue from the default blue color to a black and then what else are we going to do we are going to set up the boundary of the scene so we're going to uh, add in some colliders at, on each in the four sides of the scene so that the player when we move the player eventually they won't go out of this out of the scene uh, what else are, what else are we gonna, we're gonna import our player um, just put him in the scene for now we're not gonna make him move yet and then another thing is we are going to change the aspect ratio depending on what the default one is I can't really remember we're gonna set that up as well but while we wait for this, wherever our project where is it, so we can minimize that, minimize that. Okay, so there's our project. It's busy importing now. So we just have to wait for that to to build the project, and then let's go ahead and find our player. So we are going to use downloads. This is going to be our player. We're going to be using this as our player. It's just like a mini triangle. You can open it up here. So that's our player. I will put the link to this in the description. Actually, no, it's going to be linked to this project. So if you want it, you'll have to download it off of this project. So just hit the link to the repo for this project, and then you can download it under assets. Yeah, so we'll create that folder now. So let's go and change that to save layout. So in our assets folder here, let's go and create a new folder and call it art. So in here, we will go and paste our player into our arts folder so if you want to download that player picture all you have to do is download it from the art file in our assets folder so that's cool so let's do this so let's go and change the aspect ratio from uh, full HD to I think it's 16 by 9 so that's good we'll save that and then in our sample scene here we have a main camera so all we want to do is click on that and change the background of it to black like that and then we will click on our scene here and now why do I expand that so now here we want to add in our colliders so we need to go to our hierarchy and create a new empty object and we will call this boundary or what should we call it um, we'll call it a collider for now. So we'll set that to collider and then we will double click on that and we will reset it in the middle and then on this collider we actually have to add in a collider so let's go and add in a a box collider 2D so now you can see the green box and that is 
uh, the outline of the collider so anything that goes into this green box will collide with it so let's go and edit these and we can just uh, make it the length of the screen probably slightly over like that maybe and then like that and we'll make it a little bit skinnier like that so we will copy and paste that so now we've got two in it and then what we will do is we will move one to the right of the screen and we will put that at maybe 10 okay so 10 is a bit too far off so maybe I'll put it at 9 or 9.5 9.5 9.4. We'll set it at 9.4 for now, and then the first one created will put at minus 9.4. So that should go to the other side of the screen. No, it shouldn't. So I'll put it there. Minus uh, 8.81 and 9. Cool. So what we want to do next is actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select both of them and reset them so they're in the middle. And then, let's try that again. We'll put one of them on the left at minus 8.1, and then the other one on the right at minus 9. Okay, so that's fine. Not minus 9, well, at 9.4, 9.4 like that. Cool, and then we want to do the same thing. So let's go and create a new empty object, and we'll call this Collider again. And then we will reset it. We'll add in our box collider 2D onto that, and then we will. What are we going to do? We're going to edit it, but instead of making it long, we are going to make it very wide so it goes from the right side of the screen to the left, like that. So it's slightly overlapping. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll copy and paste that. And the first one we will drag to the very top of the screen over there. So we'll put that at 5.5. So we'll get rid of that one. And then the other one, let's try this again. So let's go minus 5.5. Okay, so minus 5.2 maybe. Too many decimal points. So minus 5.1 maybe. Okay, perfect. So that's going to be our colliders. So we'll, cop well, we'll select all of them and name them all the same. So just with the name collider. And then what we also will do is we will go and create another tag and we will call this tag our collider. And then on all of our colliders we will go and add this new tag that we just created onto them. So that's fine. So what I also want to do here is instead of having all of our four colliders just hanging around in our scene, I'm going to create a new empty object and I'm going to call this colliders. And then I will drag all of these four onto there, like that, and then we can um, reduce that into one single, what, um, I don't know what it's called, but instead of having four different uh, objects or like an expanded list, we have now like a compressed list of our colliders, so that cleans up our project a bit, so that's good. Let's go into our scene and see if we can see any difference, so we can't, cool. So now what do you want to do? Now we want to go and add in our player. So for that we will simply just drag and drop in our player. So there's our player. We are going to reset them. So he appears or the player appears at 0, 0 and 0. So x is 0, y is 0 and z is 0. And then if we change to our game scene you can now see our player is right in the center of the game. So that's great. but. I am going to first create a new folder and call this prefabs and then I am going to drag in our prefab into our or our player into our prefabs folder which will create a player prefab so here's if we double click on our player prefab we can now customize them a bit and wherever you have this play or wherever we use this player in our game it will always be the same so I want to make this a little bit smaller so let's go instead of scaling it at the default value of 1. I'm going to make it a bit smaller and put it at 0. Point, or we'll start with 0. 0.5 for now. 0. 0.5 and 0. What am I doing? 0. 0.5 and 0. 0.5. Okay, so we will go into our game mode. Okay, so that's a little bit too small, so let's make it 0. 0.6 maybe. 0. 0.6 and 0. 0.6. 
Uh, a bit, okay, so it's a bit too small. Let's put 0.75. 0.75, 0.75. We don't really need to keep. We don't really need to change the Z value because um, we don't really see that because it's a 2D game. But we'll just keep it uh, the same throughout. So we'll enter that in, and we will see what that looks like. So let's just make sure that that's saved. So we'll double click on there. So all of that's saved. Cool. So now let's go back into our main scene. And then we'll click on game. So that's what our player is going to look like. It may be a bit small. We'll see what it looks like when we start adding in like asteroids and making the player actually move. Um, but yeah, that I think that's all I really wanted to do for this episode. Pretty short, but that is kind of it. So let us go back to desktop and let's go and commit this into our uh, get repo. And I did not commit this at the beginning but anyway that's fine let's let's go ahead and put in a summary so let's say uh, created create project uh, so description we can write created if I can spell the new project added in the colliders So we've added in the, the colliders and we also added in our player prefab. What else did we do? We also changed the background color of, of the camera to camera to black. So this is just to uh, to keep track of like what you've done throughout throughout the project and your project development so I will go and fix that later so let's just try and commit that anyway it's a bit big because we just created an entirely new project although we don't really need all of these packages so we could have just deleted some um, I'll go ahead and delete some of those if this fails so while that commits, let's go and end this video. So yeah, so that's it for this episode. So we are starting to do this new game, Asteroid. It's going to be pretty cool, something different. We haven't really done this before. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you do, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and like the video. And don't forget to turn on the notifications because then you won't miss out on the next videos, which are coming every second day, I think, during the week. Um, and then obviously, like I said, we are still going to be carrying along we're going to, still going to be carrying on with our space hopper every now and then. Uh, at the moment I'm still working on making some of the artwork for it, so it's going to take a bit of time. But yeah, that's it for this episode, so thanks so much for watching again, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.